and welcome to Secrets of the Sedents Presents Discovery Sessions and today guys we're going to be talking about the edible brown crab also known as the Cornish pasty crab. So guys we're talking about the edible brown crab. Now this is quite a the most common crab that you are going to find in like your supermarkets, your fishmongers, things like that. This is the one we typically eat in this country, hence the name edible brown crab. Um, and the Cornish pasty crab comes from, you can see this lovely kind of crimping. It does look like a Cornish pasty. Um, that's where the eyes would have been and the mandibles, the jaws in the, in between there. And this this part of the shell is called a carapace this particular crab um likes kind of rocky substrates and um from the the first three years of their life they're normally found on the intertidal shore they'll be under rocks they'll be hiding they're not like other crabs that tend to run about they tend to stick in one place and hunker down incredibly strong they're the ones with the really big pincers that you see um so this particular crab as well they molt so um Unlike us, our skeletons grow and our flesh grows, but these guys um, have the exoskeleton outside, their skeleton's outside, so they can't grow. So what they do is they produce a type of enzyme when they're ready to, to molt. They then pull themselves out the back of this, the carapace, and they're soft-bodied. And they're soft-bodied for about two days um, and while they reharden, This is the perfect time for the females to start breeding. So the males were sense that a female is going to molt and he'll do something called mate guarding he'll actually hold on to her and look after her um and then pass her the sperm packet and then she will be able to and then she'll be what we call pregnant it's also known as buried so buried crab these particular crabs are potted for it's quite a sustainable fishery um and the isle of wight we're, we're really famous for them um and uh, usually the uh, crab shell is over 15 centimetres before it's caught. So this is this is too small. This is probably about 11 centimetres. So at 11 centimetres, the, the males start to become sexually uh, active. Um, and also uh, they head into deeper water. Now they're normally found, you know, between 25 to 100 uh, metres down. Um, and they, uh, there's been some studies to show that actually um, the larger they are, the deeper they're found. Anyway, I will let you guys get on with your day. Sorry, it's been a bit distracting. The cats seem to absolutely love this particular species. Uh, <laughs> Sheldon is having... Here you go, Sheldon. Do you want to take that? Yeah. Off you go. And I will leave you guys to it. Have a lovely day, everyone. Hope you're staying safe. And thanks for watching.